What are the most commonly used and fired heat exchangers in industrial process plants? By far, the shell and tube heat exchangers are the most commonly used heat exchangers. They are frequently selected for several applications such as liquid or gas cooling, vapor or steam condensing, liquid or refrigerant evaporation, heat recovery. The name originally came from the main components of the equipment, which are the shell and the tube components. Typically, one fluid passes through the tubes, known as the tube side, whereas the other fluid passes through the shell, known as the shell side. Just imagine that you insert a small pipe inside a bigger size pipe and then injected both pipes with different fluids to allow heat exchange between the hot and cold medium. Typically, the shell and tube heat exchanger consists of the following main components. The first component is a large vessel that is called the shell and contains inlet and outlet nozzles. It usually has one closed end while the other end is flanged. The second component is a large number of tubes bent to the U-shape and assembled together in a specific pattern then welded to a rounded shape plate. This plate is called the tube sheet. And the complete assembly is known as the U-tube bundle. The tube bundle also contains the baffles. These baffles are thin but stiff plates that are installed to maintain distances between tubes and direct the shell fluid flow to some extent. The tube bundle assembly is usually inserted inside the shell until the tube sheet connected with flanged end of the shell. The third component is a large cover that is connected to the shell via bolts and gaskets. This cover is known as the channel and shall be connected to the shell flanged end with the tube sheet underneath. Since the channel is open to the tubes, it also contains the tube fluid and hence considered within the tube side. The inside and outside diameter, along with length of the tubes, determine the overall heat transfer area. Shell and tube heat exchangers have the ability to transfer large amounts of heat in relatively low cost and serviceable designs. Shell and tube exchangers are available in a wide range of sizes. They have been used in industry for over 150 years, so the thermal technologies and manufacturing methods are well defined and applied by modern competitive manufacturers. Tube surfaces, from standard to exotic metals, with plain or enhanced surface characteristics, are widely available. Many of the features and designations of shell and tube exchangers have been standardized by the Tubular Exchanger Manufacturers Association or TEMA.